everybody, welcome back to RetroGameFix.com Sega Master System A to Z Marathon. This week we run into our first 3D game on the system, Blade Eagle 3D, for use with the Sega Scope 3D glasses. The Sega Scope 3D glasses use cutting edge lens shutter technology and was one of the first commercial releases of its kind. The kit came with a stylish pair of glasses as well as a sync adapter that fit in the card slot of your control deck. Each lens had an independent LED that quickly flipped on and off to create the effect of depth on the screen. Very similar to the technology that's out today. This game was one of the earlier attempts at 3D on the system and it definitely wasn't the best. Now, this game suffers from what several games we've reviewed up to this point also suffer from which is that they tried too hard with the first level and ended up severely muddying it up. The 3D effect is terrible, and mostly what you end up seeing is double throughout the entire first level. I have to admit, this is the least I've played a game since we started reviewing these, simply because of the recurring nausea that hit every single time I played. Now, as I said, the major problem is with the first level. Uh, after that, the second level and so on, I've actually only gotten to the second level, it's not too bad, it's actually pretty decent 3D and so on. It's just over detailed and just doesn't work in the first level. Now they actually did have some really nice ideas for this game. You have enemies on three different planes basically, and one of your buttons on the control pad will toggle you between the low, mid, and high. The sucky part of this is that it's really hard to tell which plane you or your enemies are on, so it kinda doesn't work. Through fighting and defeating sub-bosses through each level, you'll gain power-ups, and they're pretty standard Master System power-ups, uh, such as the double shot, as you can see here, you get a laser shot sometimes. You also get a little extra ship that will fly around with you and fight the enemies with you, and then when you die, you actually become that ship. Overall, this game is very similar to Astro Warrior, uh, except it's extremely inferior. In all fairness, I wasn't able to play this as much as I normally would because of the lousy 3D, which is generally awesome on this system. The power-ups and plot are pretty redundant, which leads me to believe that even if the 3D was done correctly, it still wouldn't have been that good. Which is why I'm going to give this one a dismal 1.5 out of 5. You have Retro Game Fix's official full permission to skip this turd and check out some of the memorable 3D games on the system, such as Maze Hunter and Missile Defense 3D. So until next time, this is Mitch from RetroGameFix.com. With our Sega Master System A to Z Marathon, we will catch you next time. <laughs>